Hey there, good morning. Uh, welcome to Good Day LA at 9 a.m. We do have breaking news to begin with. Fox 11 has just learned that a minor is under arrest in connection to the murder of rapper PNB Rock. You're looking at a photo right now of another suspect. This is Freddie Lee Trone. Police sources tell us the 17-year-old son is arrested in custody, is the son of Freddie Lee Trone, and is the suspected shooter. They're still looking for the other suspect, Freddie Lee Trone, who they say drove the getaway car. They tell us he should be considered armed and dangerous, and if you see him, call 911. PNB Rock's real name is Rakim Allen. Back on September 12th, he was shot and killed while having lunch with his girlfriend at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles on West Manchester Avenue. Police say the suspect walked into the restaurant as they were eating, shot Allen and removed some of his property. They say the suspect also demanded property from Allen's girlfriend before escaping in that getaway car. We are also told the father-son duo were already in the Roscoe's parking lot when P&B Rock and his girlfriend arrived. Mm. Wow. So, uh, pretty much the boy, the little 17-year-old, from what I'm taking from that, I think he snitched. On his daddy. Mm. Um, I don't know what people don't understand about today's day and age, but we live in a snitch era. If you plan on committing any cut type of crimes, not only is people snitching, but you also snitching on yourself with the amount of cameras that are out here right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. So people are out here committing these crimes. Let me cut this down some because I think my mic was a little too loud. But um, people out here committing these crimes. And you know what I'm saying? And then they wonder why they're going to jail. Don't you know it's a camera everywhere? Not only that, people are telling everywhere. The game ain't the same no more. See, back in, back then, if they if him and his daddy would have did that, they would have never got caught. Today, people run their mouth too much. You know what I'm saying? So the police is like, man, they don't even have to do they they, they don't have to do nothing. The community gonna do it now. Yep. You know, and I think uh the woman, too, I think she got caught first, then the boy, and I think they went to uh, eating cheese. <laughs> they caught they they caught the uh, six nine cooties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they yeah they. But look, it's crazy though how niggas do the crime but don't want to do the time. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. See, they did that crime. They took somebody's life, but now they don't want to go to jail, so they're going to snitch on everybody to get themselves out. Crime ain't meant for you then. You was never meant, but now go do your little life sentence. Go become somebody, bitch. And you're going to have a long time to think about the shit that you did. You know what I mean? Y'all took this man in front of his kids all for some damn jury, and y'all was sitting in a parking lot. Man, that's premeditated pre murder. Y'all niggas on that uh, level of what was them two dudes? The daddy and the son was sniping people. Their name was Muhammad, something Muhammad. And then they caught him inside the car with a. Uh, in a car at a peephole with a, a sniper where they where they was shooting out the car too. Two niggas. Something Muhammad. I'm not sure. Yeah, they were snipers. They were snipers out here. Two niggas. I forgot. There were snipers out here in America. They was out here just knocking shit down. You know what I mean? And you know that I think they got they getting sentenced to death. You know, but back on this PNB Rock situation, this only proved this only being two weeks into the case, and it's already solved. Dolph, 
two weeks in the case. I mean, not Dolph, but uh, yeah, Dolph, like a month or two in the case, got solved. Uh, uh, it, it, it didn't get solved yet because they ain't even been sentenced. But um, uh, um, Mo three, some months into the case, the niggas got caught. You see what I'm saying? Slim for honey. The niggas got caught. You know what I mean? So the doing crime out here and nowadays, you, you got to be a fucking idiot to put your life on the line to do some crime right now. <laughs> How you feel about that? Yeah. Um I just think the whole situation is crazy. I haven't really been following this uh, latest news, so I'm just finding out what the rest of us who didn't know about this new um, information about the 17-year-old and his daddy and the female. So what happened with the whole setup of them um, trying to blame the girlfriend or baby mama of PNB setting him up? Do you have the scoop on that? So that was only <clears throat> that was only um, YouTube vloggers and podcasters in the YouTube world uh, accusing that lady of doing that, but. Everybody else knew that that lady didn't have nothing to do with it. Everybody else knew that, you know, her going to the store, uh, going to a restaurant, taking a picture of your food and putting your location is normal for a woman and a man to do. A lot of people show their location. Right. I feel like, like we said before, that everybody went so hard on her, especially these celebrities. Um, Nicki Minaj, for example, you know, mm -hmm. people saying be smarter if you're gonna show your location, do it after you had already left the place or whatever. But, um, mm -hmm. six nine, do it <laughs> <laughs> six nine, do that shit like a motherfucker. Six nine, up go over there to O Block and then post that video up while everybody gone, ain't nobody out there. Six nine went out there to O Block. Six nine went over there to to Nipsey Hustle uh memoir, memoir whatever you call that shit uh and uh did all that shit over there and act like he was there right now niggas pulling up and you know what I'm saying the little the little rat was gone <laughs> oh yeah the mirror um yeah but yeah so it's just crazy to me that you know the seventh year old is the one that's supposed to be behind the gun, you know, so mm -hmm. young. I just want, I can't wait till the story unfolds some more to get some more background on this father-son duo. Right. And, um, he yeah, put somebody it on talking. <laughs> he want to put it on his daddy. He want to go home. I'm yeah. going to tell you like this, them, them walls, I know it's cold as fuck inside that interrogation room. Anybody ever been in interrogation room? It's cold as fuck, and they leave you in there for hours. Hours. <laughs> Freezing. No blanket. Then they come in there and want to offer you something to drink. Bitch, I don't want nothing to drink. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some tea. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. Y'all got me in here five, six hours. Let me go home. Shit. And I know that's what that boy wanted to do. And, you know, too bad he ain't going home. I don't give a fuck how much snitching he doing. He ain't <laughs> going home. He going, he going to see, uh, uh, he, what was this? In California, he going to CYA. He probably going to do a life sentence in CYA, which is 25. And then he going to get go up to, uh, to the prison. Uh, um, if he ain't had no kids, I'm quite sure he ain't really got his dick wet out here. You ain't getting no poom poom, homie. Um, the, the only thing you're going to see is things swinging. <laughs> you around a whole bunch of men, homie. Um, stinking ass, dirty, filthy men. 
was how gruesome this case is. <laughs> he might not even see the CYA. He might just be going straight to prison. Right, because he go up, might get charged as an adult. Exactly. So all because so. you wanted a funky ass chain that probably was fake or it probably was real. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because most of these rappers do wear fake fake jewelry. But you know what I'm saying? Well, I know a lot of these female rappers will, and they'll tell you fast, you know. They they put on some of that fancy fake shit because they ain't trying to get robbed. Right. And you're going to take this. Yeah, and then you can have this shit. I ain't going to tell you it's fake, but I'm going to do the last laughing at the end like they say Soldier Boy do. Soldier Boy get robbed for his, his necklaces, and every one of them be fake. If I'm not mistaken, on this video right here, they said that um, the boy shot first and then took from PNB and then tried to confiscate some things from the uh, girlfriend, baby mama, whoever she is. So, oh, oh yeah, uh, that's what I'm 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 hearing that after he shot him, then PNB want to give up his necklace and shit. Mm. You know, it's too late. You dead now. You might as well just held on to that shit till you checked up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you dead now, nigga. He didn't already hit you like six times. It's over. What you going what? Nigga, you killed me, motherfucker. I'm holding on this shit. My hands going to clench on here. You ain't going to be able to get this shit off. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm out of here. Nigga, I'm dying like a fucking King Tut around this bitch. <laughs> with my hands on my necklace. Yeah. Nah, he soon as he, after he got after he felt them fucking bullets, now he want to give it up. Nigga, it was too late. You you know, but like they say in LA right now, they saying that them niggas was just real killers. They came there to kill. They didn't come there to rob. They really came there to kill. And now uh from what this news just said, that the father and the son was out there already. So they watched the man go in there. They were scoping. I'm quite sure PNB Rock don't know them two niggas. But we don't know that. Maybe something to come out later on. Maybe he could have warned somebody else that where he was going in. Them two niggas, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They the goons of the city and pulled up and waited. Right. You know yeah, I just. That's very possible. You know, I, that was my first thought that, you know, either he was being followed like he had been before in the past mm -hmm. or that it was just a circumstance where motherfuckers was just saw somebody pull up in something nice. You know, you bling blinging and they just ran up on dude. So I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, they didn't. Uh, they got caught. All I got to say is, to all you little young guys, dumb motherfuckers out here, you want to go ride with your daddy who did a lot of time in jail? Go ahead. You and your daddy going to be doing a lot of time. <laughs> it, these days, it ain't the time to be doing no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no, it ain't no time to be out here trying to... Um, Commit these crimes, you know. People got doorbell, uh, door ring on their shit, right? Right. So, so you do something outside, they doorbell ring be catching you. I don't give a fuck if your pants fall down and you didn't think nobody saw it. <laughs> Next thing you know, your shit gonna be on TV, on 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 on, on YouTube or something, TikTok, booty all out, and you thought nobody saw it. <laughs> You are on yeah. candid camera. You're on candid camera. Everybody laughing now. But yeah, yeah. you have to be careful out here. Exactly. You are really being watched. So. You are watched, your phones. For one, these dumbass niggas, they take their phones with them whenever they go do a crime. These dumbass niggas are stupid. Keep taking your phone. Keep taking your phones and keep on talking on them motherfuckers too. Oh, oh, they ain't going to do nothing to me. Okay. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. Keep putting them pictures in there. Put them pictures. Put the picture of your little pistol in there. Put it in there. Put it in your phone. 
and keep walking around with your phone and get caught doing a the crime. They're going to get that. They're going to add that shit on your shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, I'm you know. <laughs> waiting for more information to unfold. I can't wait to hear these uh, testimonies. And <laughs> yeah, so now we got oh. um, another news. We got uh, the homie Coolio. Damn, R.I.P. Coolio. Childhood is disappearing right beneath our eyes. Let's As I walk it. through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look to my life and realize there's nothing left. I've been <laughs> riding so long that even my mom thinks that my mind is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, let's let's check this. Check this out. As I walk through the valley of the shadow look, of they played the song. Take a look at my life hey. and realize there's nothing left. Sad news in the entertainment world. We have just learned Grammy-winning rapper Coolio has died. TMZ is reporting the rapper, whose real name is artist Leon Ivey Jr., died at his friend's home in Los Angeles. Coolio came up on the L.A. rap scene in the late 80s, but blew up nationally in 1995 when he recorded Gangster's Paradise for the soundtrack of the film Dangerous Minds. The song reached number one and stayed there three weeks. Coolio was 59 years old. Yeah, Coolio. Damn. Hold on. Um, I want to know. 59 years old. I need Coolio pass. It's a lot of people dying before they reach the age of 60. And this is crazy. Rest in peace to Coolio. He was about to turn six. Oh. See this. You know what I'm saying? This little video right here. It's like Coolio breaks the oath, exposes disturbing sex acts he was uh, asked to perform. I don't know if that really had nothing to do with him dying. Hopefully Coolio wasn't on no type of drugs or nothing like that. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I know it's a cold, cold world out here. You know what I'm saying? It's some weird shit that's out here that I don't know nothing about. I ain't trying to know nothing about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's some weird shit out here. You know, definitely, it's some weird, weird shit that that um a lot of these rappers and a lot of these entertainers are into. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, exposing that truth will get you uh get you get you uh murk. You get murk for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get murk for that. Sometimes you got to just hush up and just, you know what I'm saying? They want you to hush up and just follow the uh, rules. Play the game. Yeah, that's the sad part about it. And just being um, in this industry, having this fame and stuff and all the alcohol and drugs that's brought to you damn near given to you for free or whether you're paying for it or not you know i i do like you said hope that drugs had um no play in this and you know they're saying it was cardiac arrest i would like to know that you know it was a natural um unpainful death but um just waiting for those toxology reports to come back to find you know. out, and that still doesn't mean that he actually was um, on any a drug. user of drugs. <laughs> right. I don't know his background, if he abused it in his past or anything like that, but, you know, it's plenty of times where people didn't got laced and things like that, so I'm just waiting for this story to unfold as well, but yes. Yeah. You know, because I was thinking too, though, because, you know, Fentanyl is a is a heavy drug out here in California. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Some all it all it takes is somebody to uh slide some of that fentanyl in your drink, you know, and nothing wrong with him being a drinker if he drank shit. Nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with him being a smoker if he smoked like weed. Weed, I don't give a fuck. Even if he did do a little crack here and there, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's his business. You know what I'm saying? If he did a little crack here and there. That's Coolio business. He like to have fun, snort coke, whatever. 
that don't give nobody the right to slip no fentanyl in your shit and take you about this world. You know what I'm saying? Which I ain't saying that's what happened, but it very well could have happened because fentanyl is killing a lot of people. So I'm just putting that out there. If they find fentanyl in the system, they need to check that motherfucker that he went to go see. Right. By the account of, I believe, his manager, you know, it seemed he was in good health mm. um, before the this Look event. at the man. He don't look like he out of health. With, with You know what I'm saying? Right. It seemed like he went to go kick it with his friend. He used the bathroom. And they found him laying on the floor. So, mm. you know, that's just crazy. And just, I'm and in I, shock. I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but man, some of these motherfuckers will do the dirty work for a little bread. <laughs> some of these niggas would do some dirt for the little for a little bread. You know what I'm saying? And I said, Coolio, okay, because everybody might be like, you know, Coolio wasn't nobody. Why would they need to do this? I mean, shit. He did say that motherfuckers came at him for uh, sex, but I know it's a different world right now that we living in right now. A lot of this shit is kind of get it's kind of like jokey joke now, you know, that Illuminati, Freemason shit. All that shit is kind of jokey joke, but I think it's some real serious motherfuckers that's really witty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I personally think that it's some real serious motherfuckers that's still witty. You know what I'm saying? And, and don't want them secrets exposed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if they came and wanted some of that booty, that booty, you better give them some of that booty or you're going to die. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. <laughs> <laughs> that booty. That you booty. Know, you know, because they like booty then they, they more than they like drinking water. <laughs> and like that booty, that's that Fleece Wilson. You know, I don't know if you know who Fleece Wilson is, so I got to show you. I really don't. Fleece Johnson, I mean. Oh, shit, G, you don't even know who he is. Yeah, Fleece Johnson, I, he's the booty warrior. We like uh, booty warrior. I thought you were talking about Kevin Gates. When Gage. Watt stopped visiting Kentucky State Penitentiary, we met Fleece Johnson, a longtime inmate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A yeah. different kind <laughs> of homosexuality. <laughs> well, we have sexual desires, right? So you got a bunch of men locked up in one place. All of them get hard. All of them's horny. All of them. That's what that seventeen-year-old going. What are they gonna do? If you won't let them have a woman. They gonna have each other. Somebody's gonna have to give us some booty. And uh, it's just as simple. <laughs> the most uh, uh, memorable. Hey, that nigga vicious right there. You see how he laughed? <laughs> That nigga is a vicious booty warrior. <laughs> I love. You still on? Let me play this. The whole story that Fleece told us was about the place and importance that booty has in a maximum security penitentiary. Hey, this this white boy look like he like that. He like he wish he could be in there. <laughs> he like he want he wanted to be in there and give us some of that booty. And he went on about it and on about it. In his prison, booty. Booty was uh more important than food. Booty. A man's butt. It was more important. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was more booty. Having some booty was more important than drinking water, man. <laughs> that nigga said having some booty was more important than drinking some water. And um, did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro said booty is more important than drinking some water. You see how he laughed? Bo oh, boy, it's vicious. He really mean that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that little 17-year-old don't want to get inside his cell. Yeah, he a wow. warrior. He's a booty warrior. 
That's how you tell why. Warrior. I like booty. Johnson I like booty. <laughs> how he used to satisfy. That nigga, he said, I like you. What'd he say? Hold on. He gonna, he gonna say what he say to the motherfuckers that be coming in there sagging their pants and digging their tough ass. <laughs> sexual desires, especially during the 1970s and 80s, when he was most active and prison security was more lax. When I see one, and he looks good to me, when I go see him, I say, you come here. I said, I'm telling you what, uh, now I like you, now I want you. And uh, uh, we can do it the easy way out of the hallway. So the choice is yours, right? And it was always yes. Johnson. Uh, he said it was always yes. I don't think he lied. Because he would have been cut up, you know. But this is what I'm saying about, uh, you know, some of them people in the industry, they really boot booty warriors. And they come at you and be like, uh, I like you and I want you. Now, we could do this the easy way or the hard way. It's your choice. You know what I'm saying? But I got a million dollars. Some of these niggas gonna jump on that million quick. That million dollar that's Tyler Perry be doing, you know what I'm saying? Now, no disrespect to Tyler, but you know, I think Tyler hey, do hey, be. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, no disrespect to Tyler, but I think Tyler do be uh be be, be in them boys' booty hole. <laughs> I'm gonna I spit out my damn water. <laughs> 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 I think Tyler, man, uh, you can't tell me Tyler ain't went been in somebody booty hole. To, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's what the Boondocks did. They did the little skit about Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. They did that little skit about Tyler Perry. He's a booty warrior too. You know, mm -hmm. hold on. Let me let me take this. You could talk to him real quick. I'm gonna take this call real fast. All right, all right. Yo, this is Cash, and you are tuned in with Wake Day Game. Okay. Up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification to be notified each time we upload. All right, Big Aaron is back. I'm back. I'm back and up and at it. So, yeah. Hey. Um, and you said what? I said, hey. Hey, backing up and at it. Look, uh, uh, Florida, you know what I'm saying? Florida getting, uh, getting, uh, stumped down right now. Florida, uh, hurricane. Yes. Um, that motherfucker ain't playing. Uh, hurricane Ian. Ian is horrible. I think he worse than the bitches. It is as bad as the experts feared. Hurricane Ian has made landfall in Florida, and the experts say if you had plans to leave and haven't, stay where you are. The storm has intensified mm -hmm. to a near Category 5 status, wreaking havoc on everything in its path. Mm. It's hell on earth as mm. Hurricane Ian slams into Florida. 155 miles per hour winds, 18 foot waves, epic destruction. We take a look at the cars now. They're all bunched into each other over there. The wind continues to ramp up. But we're gonna get smashed here. There are down trees literally everywhere all over this area. This is what Ian looks like from space, a swirling monster. Those flashes. Did I say lightning. Ian? I can't hear anything. Ian. Can I hear anything? Uh, I know what I mean. Uh, three feet. Check out. I know I'm off topic, but did that motherfucker really say that that's what it looked like from space? I know, my bad. With the lines in it, too. <laughs> These motherfuckers is crazy. <laughs> this is what it looked like from space, and they got the line. So you telling me that our so-called planet really got lines like that in it right there? Mm. That look like somebody drew that shit in here. 
Okay, my my bad. Back to the back to the shit. Cheers. Back to the White show. Bank. I can't hear anything and I can't see anything. Here is where the water comes up to three feet. Check out the Weather Channel's gripping 3D simulation of what a nine-foot storm surge looks like. Nine feet that can completely submerge some buildings, homes, Freaking businesses. Wow. This, in many cases, is not survival. Look at the wind howling through here. Their reporters were in the thick of it, wearing. What I don't understand is how is they in it? They telling us that this is what it's gonna be like, but I don't see no nine-foot water right now. Maybe it is some nine foot water, but sometimes the media can be a little hallucinative, a little, a little, a little, you know what I'm saying? They could drag it a little bit much to make us really believe that it's really scary out there in Florida. It, you know, only people know what Florida is really like right now is the Floridians. You know what I mean? But I, I finished playing it. Baseball helmets for protection yeah. against projectiles. I just got knocked on my butt. You can hardly see anything out here. Jim Cantori had some close calls. First, he almost got struck by lightning. Oh. Then he got hit with a tree branch. There are cars floating. <laughs> Tony and Emily Massey are riding out the store. <laughs> hey, this is, uh, this is comedy. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't <rewind>. <laughs> It is the nigga almost got hit by lightning, nigga. And then, yeah, <laughs> he just got he just gonna dodge it like that. Then that he is. got hit with a tree branch. There are cars floating. <laughs> Tony and Emily Massey are riding out the storm in their yeah. car. Hey, I'm telling you, the media be putting a hell of much on him. <laughs> <laughs> the media put... was not worried about his. <laughs> and then it really. Touched him and he's gonna fall like oh get the fuck <laughs> out of here. These motherfuckers be acting, man. I'm telling you. Rise in the Naples, stand by they the lost water. power yeah, as the like, city flooded. This is where the pool was. Gone. The pool is underwater. The pool's gone. Much of Florida is hunkered down today. The state's famous amusement parks, Disney, Universal, Legoland, and SeaWorld all closed as the state gets absolutely oh, hammered. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that looked a horrible idea. <laughs> I've seen people swimming in their goddamn house, parking their cars in their fucking house, in the living room. <laughs> How you gonna go swimming in your house now? <laughs> like, come on. Yes, it's it's been I'm bad. I'm not trying to jinx CA, but man, I think we in one of the most safest places. Now they talking about we gonna get a flood and shit. Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, that that kind of look a little vicious. In, uh, uh, Florida. Uh, what they say? Pray for Florida. Yes. Um. You know, if there has been any, any uh fatalities or anything like that. If y'all got family out there, you know, um, I hope y'all are able to be in contact and I wish y'all the best. Um, Florida, you wretched as fuck, you might have needed to be washed out. I'm just like, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do we, my Florida like that. <laughs> Don't do my Florida cash like that, Florida man. <laughs> Salute to my Florida niggas, man. Them we zoles love you. And, you know what I'm saying? The zoles and a Goddamn Haitians out there, the goddamn niggas that's out there. Salute to Florida. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's funny because I was going to do a Florida roast. I wanted Big Aaron to uh, do this roast with me. But with everything going on, um, I don't want nobody taking offense. Don't take offense by what I just said. But um, we love Florida. You know, um, just one of my... Uh, one of my all time one of my all time favorite rappers just had a birthday yesterday, matter of fact, from Florida. Uh um happy belated birthday to Trick Daddy, you feel me? Trick love Trick the kids. Trick kids. Hey. Trick hey. love the kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey. but, yeah. Um it looks very crazy. I've been following the hurricane on um Instagram and stuff, seeing a lot of people posting their videos inside their homes, cold, freezing, house looking terrible, broken stuff, just 
you know, their furniture floating in the water with them. They swim in down the dam to uh second um story down to the first floor and it's just horrible and um I know a lot of people's powers out it's bad and you know big ups to y'all and, and getting the some rescue or some um shelter something. Florida. Yeah. Shout out Florida. Y'all seek some uh you know, shelter right now and get the hell out of Mr. I -E -I Ian goddamn way. Ian. That nigga is not playing. Ian, Ian, Ian. get out of Ian fucking way. <laughs> he not playing. Hell no. He ain't playing. But yeah. Boogie man. Okay. So we got the boogie man right here. You know what I mean? I'm your boogie he, man. He, you know, he, said, what I, he said that he was uh, making the style. Megan the style hey. putting that work I in figured on that. <laughs> you know, I wonder if he had to slide her dick to the side. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they could just go there. Wow. Hey, hey let me yeah. stop. Hey, <laughs> she says she's a stallion. A stallion is a male. Yeah, that's so what I like. It. What, 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 what that nigga do? I, you know what? I never seen the music video, and he has uh, Megan the Stallion look alike in this song, Boogie Man. Mm -hmm. Are we going to play that? Because I, I got to see that. Yeah, we got to do a reaction to it, you know. Um, we're going to have to talk over it some because they uh, they be tripping on you. They be uh, okay. flagging the nigga shit and the videos so, that, that cut out the, the sound. If y'all hear us talking through the video, y'all know what it is. Um, again, this is Wake They Game Up. Like, comment, the subscribe. Video. Let's go. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't miss out on none of these banging ass videos, man. And all this fun shit. It's going to get funnier and funnier and funnier. <laughs> I, 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 I thought I heard a breath scream. Was that supposed to be Little Nas X? Oh, dude. Uh, what happened at Rolling Loud? What happened? He did something at Rolling Loud. No, that was the female. Yeah. He said, I'm sorry about what happened at Rolling Loud. At Rolling Loud? When yeah, he said, oh, when he when he when he said something about uh the gay dudes, the LGBT community sucking <laughs> thing in a car. When he said that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga don't give a fuck. He said that in one of his songs. He said, you know why I don't like baby? Um, yeah, something about, you know why they don't like the baby? Because the baby don't give a fuck or something like that. I don't know. But I, matter of fact, that was in Megan Thee Stallion's song, Cry Baby. And that's when I knew there was a uh, hunching, doing mm -hmm. something. Yeah, he was in there beating them, uh, beating that, that, that booty up. Uh, I don't, I don't know if she got a tutu. Uh, nah, I'm just playing. Let me leave Megan to start in the lawn, man. <laughs> I ain't got no beef with Megan. I hope that's a woman, though. You know. Yeah. Damn, the awkward silence. My bad, my bad. <laughs> But yes, um, I don't know. I guess maybe she was a tall, tall woman. But yeah. who gives a fuck? I don't. Yeah, maybe he had to uh, redeem himself by, uh, um, you know, I'm saying by when he said that about the um LGBTQ community. Maybe he had to re redeem himself when he um by getting with somebody that's uh, training. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm just wondering why you had to put it out there like that. Was it just to get your record sales or were you mad because she was fucking with you and Tory Lanez at the same time? Um, all who I she, remember... Huh? Who she did a video with first. I mean, who she... She, she was fucking with Tory first. I mean... I don't know who she was working with first. I really but... doubt. Maybe she was juggling both of them niggas at the same time. I don't know. Females get down like that nowadays. Right. Her and the baby was working on a couple projects together. Um, and they were both in the uh, freshman class of the XXL shit together. So I believe. So, um, I don't know. They definitely had time to work with each other, but when the whole Tory thing, Tory Lanez thing unfolded with her and him going to Kylie uh, Jenner's party and all that, she already was had been known to be around the baby at that time. So, I don't know. I just remember when the Tory Lanez situation happened, she was mad at the baby for working on a project with Tory Lanez. Right. Yeah, because they came out with a record together right after mm. the shit. So mm. she wasn't talking to the baby no more. Okay, okay. So but maybe yeah, maybe the baby was smacking those before uh, Tory Lanez. But I could have sworn uh, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe it was a rumor. I don't know. But <laughs> when when they, when they said he shot her, that uh, Tory Lane shot her. I don't know. Did you did you hear about uh, what happened? Why he shot her? Um, it's been a few things I heard. Why? What did you hear? I I heard that. Um, yeah, he was supposed to be playing, trying to play with that that with the wooty whoop that tutu, and uh, he touched a you know a, a man's you know yummy. You know I mean? She had that yummy you know, on her. <laughs> she had nah, that yada that mean that, that yada that mean on her. Nah, I didn't hear. That. <laughs> and, and he pulled out and bust her down. <laughs> mm -mm. I, I, but I don't know. I, I think that was just a rumor. I just think they was all fucking in a circle and everybody was in their feelings. Tori was, you know, they was having fun, him and Megan, but he was trying to get with Kylie and embarrass Megan. But really, he was fucking her and her best friend. And she was fucking the baby. And the baby was fucking on his baby mama, Mimi, and the girl, Danny Lay. So, like, what the fuck? Y'all are mad at each other because y'all hoes, but I don't know. So, it's a lot of rumor. I don't know. I pick and choose what to believe, or I'm just listening to what's going on. I don't really give a fuck about this shit, but it's interesting to see this shit unfold because it's just so messy. And the baby is just the messiest, and I love it. You love the baby <laughs> nastiness? Messiness, but that uh, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, all these rappers try to be messy, though. But you know what? I can't recall one thing he got over... Uh, Ludacris, I don't recall Ludacris being a messy nigga like that. I ain't never really heard Ludacris get in here and try to say who he fucked and all. I, I mean, that's mainly the new rappers, though. These new rappers yeah. got something to prove. Right. Um, to be honest, I haven't really heard Luda being in any drama really at all. I remember it was something, but I can't remember. Maybe it had to do with his baby moms or something, but and some custody issue or something like that, but or was that Tyree? Yeah, I don't that know. don't count. That don't count. I'm talking but, about some messy situation. Besides that, uh, with, with, with Trina, and all that. then Trina okay. make a song. Then Trina make a song. Nearly got a big old dig. What the big old dig? What the got a big old dig? She made a song, something like that. Yeah. 
Y... Si tú yeah, le ganas, nene. Yeah, I need a refresher on that because I remember that shit. I just don't remember it like that. But yeah, that's oh, <laughs> memories, memory lane right there. But after uh, what they saying about Nelly right now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think she tested Nelly water like that. <laughs> I don't know. Dude. I, I'm hearing what the women saying. The women are getting on Nelly right now. Oh, yeah, no. I didn't get a chance to see, but I yeah. never thought he had it like that anyway. Yeah, they own Nelly. And, and talking about his, uh, you know, his womanhood. I mean, his manhood. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that's crazy, though. A lot of shit been going on though. You know what I think? A lot of stuff been going on ever since that Sauce Walker dude though. <laughs> ever since Sauce Walker, man, it's been turned up literally. Especially at like, you know. Oh uh, yeah, then a little then then a young chick in um Houston got murked. A whole lot of cash. I guess she was sitting in a car, and, you know, and ran up on her and dumped her down. But we should see how long it's going to be before they find her killer. These niggas killed. These, I'm going to tell you what the new thing. See, you know, podcasting is a new rap. I think what, what these niggas going to start doing is they're going to start catching bodies and getting on the podcast and talking about it. Yeah, I shot whoop de whoop last night. Police on there listening. Got him. Who you shoot last night? I shot whoop de whoop. Yep, I was there. I got my phone right here. I got the pictures. They in my phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crazy as hell. Yeah. They don't want to shut the fuck up. They've been talking too much as it is. As it is. Shit. Yeah, you know, love jail and prison. That's like, what it seemed like. Who you said what? I said niggas love jail and prison. That's what it seemed like. Until they gotta go. See, they do all that talking and shit out here on the streets until they gotta go. Them niggas don't want to go to prison. They don't want to go to jail. But out here on the streets, they act like it's a piece of cake. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can adapt to any situation, but who the fuck want to adapt to a man waking them up out of their sleep, making you strip down, cough, to see if something fall out your asshole, told when to eat, told when to go to sleep? Yeah, who the fuck want to go through that? These niggas don't want to do that, but they rather do the crime than do the time. You know, these niggas do not want to do the time. Right. It's just di different people out here. Some people that never had shit that when they get shit, it still don't phase them because they don't care because they never had shit. Right. But then you have other people that ain't never had shit that made a new way from themselves and they don't want to ever go through that type of circumstance where they have to put prison over freedom. So, I don't know. At yeah. this point, it's just a preference thing. Yeah. Why am I echoing? You echoing? It sound like it. I don't know. Probably got to turn your mic down. Or you got something known that's over there? Hello? Hello? Okay. Yeah. I heard a little echoing too just now. You still hear it? Mm-mm. 
But no, nah, these dudes don't want to. They don't want to do their time. They do not want to do the time. Not at all. Shit. Yeah, and they, they smoke P and B, and then now they tell it. Oh, I thought I was keeping this silent. You a murderer, right? Why mm-hmm. is it that the niggas that be killing and doing all they don't never want to go to jail? <laughs> they don't never want to go to jail. It's always like that. I don't know. That's crazy. Them niggas do not never want to go to jail. They they would do anything. They would threaten a nigga whole family before they go to jail. Come on, man. Don't tell on me. Come on, come on, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, avoid that prison. They don't want to go to that prison. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they don't see when they out here they can do all this, this this fuckery and all this other shit you know what I'm saying but when it's time to go to prison them niggas I'm telling you and especially today's killers they will fucking tell on everybody just to save they ass the mm-hmm. killers are the snitches as we know, the boy, 17, caught a straight-up killer. He the trigger puller. But guess who he told on? His fucking daddy. His own daddy. Wow. He didn't tell <laughs> on his own daddy. <laughs> I thought you free your daddy, not tell on your daddy. But yeah, it's a little game for you, little young niggas that want to gang bang and go out there and go do it. Bruh, it ain't even worth it. You know, like I say, oh boy, 17, his life gone. Uh, he probably only had, you know what I'm saying? And because that's a child, but I'm just saying, though, he probably ain't never even got no poom poom before. And if he have, he probably only had like one time. <laughs> now he might get in in there, and his booty gonna become a poom poom. <laughs> 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 hey, look, I, I swear these niggas be so scared to go to jail because they know they not man enough to go. They man enough to kill, but they ain't man enough to go to jail. These niggas would tell on everybody before they go to jail. They not man enough to go in there around other killers. See out here, because they the killers, they knocking shit down and doing all that. They not willing to go in there amongst other real killers. Hold on. I got a video I was watching about uh, how old boy, how that little nigga going to get done. Um. <clears throat> yeah, look at this. Who the, who that is? This will be Bobo that you say you know. Bobo, Bobo, Bobo. You say you met Bobo on the basketball court and got in with him. Yo, I ain't never no Y'all broke in the. It's Bobo, 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 Bobo. This nigga's in here. He killed, he killed a whole boy's son and his partner. And he ain't here talking to Bobo. He don't know who Bobo is. See, that's what's going to happen to that 17 year old. Now, look at how this motherfucker get treated. He look like he's probably like 18, 19. Pawn shop and stole the motherfucker. You ain't never said Bobo no gun, big dog. You ain't never said Bobo no gun. Ask Bobo. Bobo, put me on speed phone. Bobo, hit me right now, big dog. We are talking. We got all day to get out of here. Bobo, who stole the gun? Bobo, that's right. I don't make no difference. Who sold his gun, man? Don't run it to me. Don't run it. <laughs> you see how he cheating? You see yeah. how he smacked him? Hold on. He ain't done. This yeah. little 18-year-old little nigga went in there bragging. 
<laughs> See, I'm gonna tell you if he, if Fleece Johnson was in there after they kick his ass, they would have threw him to Fleece Johnson. Fleece Johnson would have seen that and been like, "Come here, sugar. I like you and I want you, and we could do this the easy way or the hard way. It's your choice." <laughs> he sound like a little bitch look, look talk to me don't do all that don't do a what <laughs> right no don't do all that he he want to say man don't hit me all uh, no man come on please mom ma, mama mama please ma, mama he can't run and go to go uh check out of there because he really gonna be in some shit. you know what i'm saying he gotta take that ass whooping You ain't no gangster, nigga. I just check your fucking background, nigga. I just sit. That's why I ain't no gangster. Fuck no. That's a nigga what I claim. Truth, nigga. Ain't true, nigga. Truth saying you don't even know you. That's true what I claim. Nigga. I ain't never been put down as a gangster. But that's what I claim. You ain't never been put down as a gangster. Look here, bro. Stop playing. Don't go nowhere. Get down, man. Stand up. You lying. You ain't lying. You ain't never had no trouble with these niggas. Tell me I'm lying to you, boy. You see? Uh, hey, I like when them little niggas get down like that. You know, I know why, because they hard out here in these streets. I hope that little nigga who killed PNB Rock get done like this. Mm. I hope he get done like this. I hope he ran into an OG who was well respected by, who well respected PNB Rock. And I hope he do that nigga just like this. I hope yeah. he do. Don't lie to me, my nigga. Don't lie to me, my nigga. Don't lie to me, bro. 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 He knocked he knocked some brains loose. <laughs> Who I sold a gun to? Oh, no. I don't big dog, big dog, dog. I want to tell you, but I'm scared you're gonna hit me, big dog. Don't 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 hit me, big dog. <laughs> This nigga like the same height as him. Hey, dude would have been poke, everything. Some way, somehow, I would have had something. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you is not going to be beating my ass in front of everybody like this. And oh boy, that's recording it dirty than a mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening, my nigga. He's a Sylvia, dog. All your guns with Sylvia. Look, I ain't never sell a gun and what next to me to buy what you told him. That's what my mama next to me do. I was never like, you breaking the sports center now. I'm not bringing new guns for one kill. Tell them, man. Kill. I remember. Fucking right. Nigga, who went down like that? Man, you serious? Man, I'm on my right hand. Down the gangsta. Down the blood. Don't play with me, my nigga. Just right here to the Lord and God know me right now. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you. Okay, I can take an ass, but I'm not gonna stand doing this to you. I don't want you to take no ass. I want you to tell me who you sold them guns to, nigga. Well, I sold guns. You come straight in this bitch ass for me. Why are you looking for? This nigga said, I'll take an ass with it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll take an ass with it. Nah, nigga, you ain't taking that. 
That ass will be forced on you. <laughs> he talking about. He talking about he would take an ass whooping, nigga. You ain't taking nothing. You getting your ass whooped because you want to fight, but you know, nigga, if you try to fight, this nigga gonna break your little ass off. Uh -huh. so, so you don't want to fight him. You don't want to fight him, homie. Me, only real killer for do. I showed the nigga only real talking nigga. Guns, guns, gangsters. Then I say them niggas don't want to go in there with the real killers. You see, dude, he's a real killer, right? He might be serving life in the penitentiary right now. These niggas just now getting in there. They don't want to meet up with that nigga. That nigga really institutionalized. And he worked by the prison politics. These niggas still fresh off the streets. They still being out here on the streets and they not, they not really adapted to the prison politics that dude is. Do the OG and this shit. He probably be doing life. So oh boy go in there and he talking that shit and running his mouth. The people he don't even know. And it caught up to him. Which I swear to God, I hope the boy who killed PNB Rock, I hope the same shit happened to him. The young niggas who killed Young Dolph, I hope the same shit happened to them. I don't give a fuck if niggas get mad at me. Oh man, you ain't supposed to wish prison on nobody. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you niggas. I don't care if you go to prison. The street code is dead. Uh -huh. Y'all niggas being killers and snitches. What do you mean? Y'all been working with the police. Y'all been telling on niggas and getting niggas houses raided. But then out here knocking shit down. Fuck you mean? Then all of a sudden, nigga, I'm a civilian. I'm a civilian now. I ain't out here knocking shit down no more. I ain't out here doing that. Nigga, I'm a civilian. Said, so, nigga, I don't give a fuck about it if you go to prison, nigga. I ain't no free this nigga and free that nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not dropping nothing on your books. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you made your bed. But yeah, hold on. Let's finish this. <laughs> Play. You started playing. You don't know me. You started playing. You wake up and find yourself. You'll be all right, my nigga. Get the fuck off my bed, man. Please. You fucking tripping, man. Lay down. Lay down. Who that is? <laughs> hey, get out of my bed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm lying. I like when these niggas get done like that. I, I, I love see. it. I love it. I get a thrill off of this. I can't stand these little motherfucking badass kids. We can't, we can't whoop your ass out here on the street. So nigga, you get in there, nigga. There's gonna be a nigga that's gonna whoop your motherfucking ass. We can't whoop these kids' ass out here in these streets. So you want to be a tough ass? Go do your crime so you can go in there and you're gonna meet one of these niggas in there. <laughs> Your mouth gonna be all bloody like he is. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm a gangster. No, nigga, you ain't no gangster. A gangster fight back. Win, lose, or draw. He gonna take that ass whooping. Uh, I would just have to take that ass. I, I'm telling you, man, I, I, I'm going to take a take a jump. Before I let a nigga just pound cake my face like that, I ain't never been no punk. I ain't never been no nigga that just, you know what I'm saying? You niggas, no. That's why these niggas ain't built like that. See, they can go kill PNB Rock, but they can't go do their time. That's why he snitched on his daddy. He got to go to court and go point out his daddy now. The bitch got to go to court and point out both of them. The bitch is going to be the one who get the lighter sentence. You know what I'm saying? 
Her sentence is gonna be the lightest uh, in the PNB Rock situation. PM, PM, uh, the other two, they are looking at probably life in prison. The daddy says he was just a getaway car a driver. He could either get uh, charged with uh, tampering with evidence or whatever like that, or accessory. But the woman, she probably gonna get three years probation, something like that. She getting off easily. The boy, he he washed. That's him right there. You you see that little nigga right there? That's that seventeen year old. Do look like he about seventeen, eighteen. He, he probably like twenty, twenty one, but look, he look young. Right. He look, he look young, but he's a killer. He went in there bragging about the bodies that he had. I don't know why these niggas think that they can brag about bodies that they got. See, and I want to salute to Gucci man. Gucci man is now saying that, you know, he wish he would have never did all that. Gucci man growing up and everybody calling him a clone because they, they hate to see that him growing up like this. You know what I mean? They hate to see when black men grow up. They love when we still acting like little kids and talking like little kids and suck my dick, suck my dick, bitch, bitch, rapping like that. They love that. Because we sound <laughs> ignorant. We sound dumb and we sound funny. You know, suck my dick, told the bitch to suck my dick, and she sucked me from the back. I was in the back lack. You know, and niggas is <laughs> niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And niggas grooving to this shit. Like, hey, hey. Cause they like that dumb retarded shit. But then when you start talking about some real shit, like Gucci Man doing like Kevin Gage doing all of a sudden you soft, you weak, you gay, you this, you that. Yeah, he says stop dissing the dead and all that. Got a whole song about it. Yeah. And people talk shit, hella shit about that song, that record. And, you know, they don't see the growth that he is a man's man now. He's a grown ass man now. You know, they try to bring up that versus how him and uh, Jeezy, you know, how he disrespected Jeezy and all that. But even after that, he he saw that shit. And that mm -hmm. part of that helped him grow, too. And he apologized for that. Yes. He apologized, and that's real nigga shit. It's time to stop acting like goddamn animals and savages. Stop acting like a motherfucking savage. And you ain't no not savage. Act like that no more. Yeah, and they these young niggas don't have to act like that because they making way more money than our generation and a generation before me used to make. True. These niggas is making too much money to be playing with their life like that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Gucci, Gu when Gucci was doing that, Gucci was high off of drugs and shit. You could tell Gucci ain't off them drugs like that no more. How you going to, you got to be, a, you got to have some consciousness, you know what I'm saying, to be able to know your surround. That's why these niggas get killed the way they get killed. RP Mo3, RP Young Dog. But these niggas ain't paying attention to the life, to life in a gang. You know what I'm saying? They caught up in their riches and shit and, and you know, not, not understand that. Nigga, you still can die with money. You can still die with money, and the messages that you pushing out there, dude, come on. Mm. Come on, P. Come on, P. Pushing P. Come on, P. You niggas about to push P. Prison. <laughs> 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 Y'all niggas finna push P. Prison. Like Gunna. You better look at y'all favorite rappers. Gunna, Young Thug. Look at him. Young Thug went to praying. Beg. I mean, this the gangster. This the most gangster nigga in Atlanta. Like he was the most gangster nigga. And when the white folks got him, what he doing? He praying. He begging. Please let me out. He can't he can't take them four by four walls. He can't take them fucking walls. He like what six, 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 three, six, five. This this motherfucker 
Orange could touch both of the walls. You can't take that. That shit does something to your mental. <laughs> you sitting in them cells? I've been in jail before. You've been in jail before, right? Yep. Sure have twice. <laughs> and that shit do something to your mental, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you want to come home fast, huh? Hell yeah. You you want to get your ass about this bitch. Man. Yeah. yeah. Not a place that I want to go back to. I don't know I, how people keep going I back. know. When I was in there, I got tired of watching Home Improvement. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> home Improvement? Hold on. I don't want to watch this shit. But you can't go get up there and go change the channel. See, right now, I could change the channel all day. I, on my big 65-inch screen TV, I could Shit. change <laughs> I could change the channel all day. But in there, you can't do shit. You go in your refrigerator, you go find you something to eat it out here. And there, man, you got to pull out that sandwich and them two oranges or two apples. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you ain't get that anymore because they weapons. Yeah. Your little Kool-Aid package that ain't got no sugar in it. <laughs> Dried ass taste of shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's shit in private, can't piss in private. And you want to go there. Oh. And these niggas promoting to go there. No. No. I would not be promoting to go there. That's not something I'm promoting niggas to do. I promote you not to go there. And I promote you not to do nothing stupid. So you go there. Because if you do, nigga, I'm just going to laugh at you. Niggas get mad at Charleston White for laughing at these dumbass niggas. When this nigga be giving niggas game and shit. They get mad at that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't like that shit, man. You ain't supposed to wish jail on nobody, but I'm supposed to wish death on somebody? Real shit. I'm not supposed to wish death. I'm not supposed to wish death on nobody, but I'm supposed to wish... I'm not supposed to wish jail on nobody, but I'm supposed to wish death on somebody. Now, tell me where that makes sense at. At least if you in jail, you can see your family. Right. At least you can see your kids get older. At least you can see your mama and your mama can see you. That's what Charleston White was saying. That's what Charleston White was saying. At least you can see your family. But no, you niggas want niggas to be dead. You niggas is evil. Niggas is evil. You want niggas to be dead. You want niggas to die. Nah, nigga. Go to jail. That shit make you lose your mom. And when them cells is hot and them cells is too goddamn cold, you lose your mind. Only thing you can do is keep reading these fucking boring ass books. Your brain is so motherfucking, it's, it's warped now. Now you got so many big ass work with the personification of the information that I received was so sophisticated by the eliminated of the population. So I want to exp expeditiously talk about my affirmation. What is you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? But that's what happened when you read all them books. You're going to get out talking like that. The purification of drinking water is the modification of the soul. See, when I was in my spirituality, I was used to all the demographical. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> uh, I read that nigga. I read that nigga do that on some real shit, then be dead in the grave. You know what I'm saying? Never able to talk again. Never able to walk again. Never able, his kids not able to see him. You're not able to even change his life. At least you can at least go to prison and change your life. 
You know what I'm saying? At least you can go there and you go change your life. Once you're dead, it's over. And it seems like that's what a lot of niggas want. They want you dead. I wish jail on nobody. Jail, fuck that. Man, I don't want nobody to go to jail. But hold on. You talk like jail is a piece of cake, right? I wonder why you don't want nobody to go to jail. Why don't you want nobody to go to jail? Be honest. Why? Because it ain't a piece of cake. I walked the fifth yard. I was on the fourth yard. High maximum prison. I did my time. I was out there. Man, I put in that work. Okay. Do you want to go back? Hell no. <laughs> hell, hell no. I ain't going back there. See, all that tough talk go away. No, sir. I ain't going. No. You know what? I changed my life. <laughs> 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 that ain't for no man. That I mean, you know, I survived in there, but that ain't where nobody want to go. It's slavery in there. Bitch, y'all, but y'all causing slavery on us. Y'all the Ku Klux Klan on that. He killed PNB Rock for nothing for a fucking diamonds that ain't worth shit. It's only worth something over here. Them Africans over there dying, picking them diamonds up out the goddamn ground, working all night. They dying. You feel what I'm saying? They out there dying. Them Africans is giving a life for some fucking crystals that ain't worth shit mm. they mostly worth something to us they dying to this day they dying for some fucking piece of shit as fucking stone that ain't worth shit it's just a hard piece of stone it ain't worth shit in Africa but over here, it's worth a lot. And these niggas over here, and then they get robbed for it. And guess what? The gold is worth more than the goddamn diamonds. Let me say again. The gold is worth more than the goddamn diamonds. Those diamonds that you killed PNB Rock for ain't worth shit. That's why you probably in jail. You probably try to pond it. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> I know I got Yo, you over here quiet. <laughs> I got you over here quiet. <laughs> he on one tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm on one. You got damn right. I'm on one because I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of excited now. I'm kind of excited. You know what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck about what these niggas think, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Motherfuck them. They don't put no food on my table. They don't make sure I'm safe. They don't make sure I'm good. And they damn sure don't give a fuck if I'm alive right now. Because all these niggas want you to do it, the beat is dead. At least I say, like Charleston White say, I'd rather your ass be in jail. I'm not going to put you in jail. I'd rather them catch you and put you in jail. I'd rather them to catch you and put you in jail. I'm not going to put no police report out on you. I'm not going to do that. But when your ass go out there and go do something, they go catch your ass, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> mm. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, and it's not no free you. Fuck you. <laughs> the F you is for fuck you. It's not free you. <laughs> Damn. Like that? It's like that. It's like the F is not for free you. It's for fuck you. F you. And the F is not for free. I should make some shirts like that. Boy, Charleston White, I love that, huh? <laughs> Charleston White, I love that shit. F you. The F is not for free you, but fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, say, say. Nah, I'm not. Uh, and, you know, Charleston White, the type of nigga to put you in jail. I'm not the type to put nobody in no motherfucking jail. <clears throat> but I don't give a fuck about you. Going to jail, I don't give a fuck about none of that. 
But when you out here doing dumb shit and you out here harming your own people, you know what I'm saying? And to our mentalities, it's we supposed to want you dead. Nah, nigga, that's the easy way out. That's the easy way out. Death is easy. Jail is hard. Especially spending the rest of your life in that motherfucker. See, when you know you got a time to get out, whether it's 15, 20 years, you good. But when you're looking at a honey, nine, nine, two, two hundred, four hundred, life, life without the possibility, uh, that's when you start going nuts. Cause I know I would. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. I need a translator. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> I need a translator. Translate that. Hold on. Hold on, lawyer. Translate that. What did he just say to me? <laughs> Life without the possibility. No, 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 no. This nigga got me fucked up. <laughs> Life without the possibility. Hell no. Most niggas don't want to hear that. I know I don't want to hear no shit like that. Mm-mm. Life without the possibility. I'm telling you, I need a translator. I didn't catch what he said. What? Huh? Life without the possibility. No, no, kept us, huh? Kept us, huh? <laughs> no speaking no English. <laughs> no, no speaking no English. <laughs> the fuck you mean life without the, no, the possibility? Man, motherfuck you. Kill me now. With this guard out. I'm going to take this nigga gun. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to kill me right now. Fuck that. <laughs> Shit. Life without the pot. You know what I'm saying? That remind me of life. You know what I'm saying? The movie Life. That shit was hella fun. Yeah. <laughs> That yeah, shit was hella funny. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas got life for some shit they didn't do. Now, I feel bad for anybody that's sitting in jail. You know what I'm saying? That's really in there for some shit that they didn't do or something minor or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Even, even niggas that's in there for self-defense and, you know what I'm saying, a judge and they being dickheads and, you know what I'm saying, prosecution and shit being dickheads and you in there for self-defense i i say free you but you serious terry terrorist you serious terrorist like that nigga kill pnb rock fuck you eric holder fuck you <laughs> even though you know that 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 six o business that's their business you know but it's fuck you. I don't care about you. I don't care if you get out or go. Don't get out. I don't live nowhere near you. <laughs> I don't live nowhere near you. But I know I changed the whole little topic up. Cash over here, quiet. Shit, I'm just. I'm listening and peeping game at the same time. Doing a little more research on some stuff. But, um, yeah, it seems like you got a lot on your mind. Get it off. This is what this podcast is for. You got damn right. I'm going Wake to that game up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all want to hear some real shit? Come on, wake that game up. We'll give it to you raw and uncut. I'm going to give it to you wrong. Okay, you ain't going to like everything I said. I guarantee you 99% of y'all ain't going to like. I, mean, I ain't going to say 99%, but a lot of you motherfuckers ain't going to like what I got to say. But No Vaseline. <laughs> no Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> no Vaseline or butter. What they do, what they do in prison, they use that butter. That's their Vaseline. 
A <laughs> <laughs> little stick of butter is they Vaseline. No Vaseline or butter. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. But what else you what 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 you what, what else you got? You been researching though, Cash Man. Put us up on something. Cause I know y'all tired of my ranting. They ain't tired. I ain't tired. But um, I sent you a couple things in your email. I don't know if you could pull it up right now. In my email. A couple of um, little clips that I wanted to share. I'm thinking we should do another video for those. Uh... What about that? Uh, that 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 big titty mug. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you, you, don't you you, you want to get in on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got what, a clip what, of it? Let me find it. What what is it called? The uh teacher. I'll just say Canada teacher. Teacher from Canada. Yeah, y'all. Um it's some clips going around about this teacher in Canada. Mm. Help teacher <laughs> has these implant breasts that you just kind of throw over your head, and they are huge. And he just <laughs> been going to work. He's a wood shop teacher with these big ass breasts with like see through tops. You see the whole areola and the nipple and the titties just so big that they'll knock somebody down. And this nigga looks stupid. And the school is okay with him going like that. And I just actually seen an update on the story where the kids at the school is fighting back. They feel uncomfortable seeing that shit. Yeah. So um, I have a problem with that. So we're gonna show you some clips about this shit because this is out of control. Ain't no way that that is okay. I understand if he got blood breast implants or has some like Ones that look acceptable. I mean, no woman teacher would be allowed to not have a brassiere on with her titties just poking out like that. That's a disrespect to one women. I think that's a full on disrespect to women. But let's let's play one of these motherfuckers. I don't know which one you want me to play. Uh, Slippery slope. That nigga like he ain't feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Do that first one right there, yeah. Uh. A Canadian high school has sparked outrage over their decision to defend a transgender teacher who has gone viral for wearing enormous prosthetic breasts Transgender while students. Ass. Yes, for viral photos and videos of the teacher who calls. That's crazy how much they can get away with. Let me, let me know. Uh, shows them wearing bike shorts, a blonde wig, and tight tops over abnormally large prosthetic breasts in the classroom. Our uh, TV viewers can see that teacher there. Uh, look it up online if you haven't seen it. Well, in response to the controversy, Oakville Trafalgar High School in Ontario says it's committed to, quote, establishing and maintaining a safe, caring, inclusive, equitable and welcoming learning environment mm. and working environment. In this that American shit. Is a human rights activist and joins us now. Thank you for joining us on the program. This is why Putin over there mad. Putin is over there mad because they trying to put that shit over there in Ukraine. This this sick ass so called democracy that we got over here in America is trying to take this shit everywhere, and a lot of countries and cities do not want that shit. And no disrespect to that community, but come on, man, y'all get away with it over here in America. Y'all can't go to other places and try to do that shit. Y'all get in America because Canada is is America still. It's still the Americas. I you mean know what I'm saying. It's one thing to be transgender and, you know, changing to the opposite sex. But when you got to over-sexualize that gender that you're trying to portray, that's ridiculous. That What you're is saying it, about the women is what is, is my thing. Are you saying all oh, women got these big-ass bulging titties? You know what I'm saying? And 
You trying to wear these tights about- and you wearing these fake ass and like who is you really emulate? Is you because I don't see white women that's walking around really like that unless they just super obese, but you're probably really trying to emulate a black woman. I'm just saying, like, this is a teacher. And as a kid, even as a woman today, like, but think about a kid. All I'm going to do is look at them damn breasts. Right. Female or not, is this, I can just only imagine how uncomfortable the parents of these children are. And these children themselves, they already been fired back. I would like to see a clip of that because. That's just weird. It's this nigga cutting wood and his titties is in the way. I just no. Stop it. Right. That's not being a transgender. That's being it's just it's privileged. A point asshole. That just that's hella privilege right there. The nigga got too much privilege. It's too much privilege for this shit. And it's so much privilege. That they able to even change the laws. Now, so can able- I change myself in a man as a man? Put some cornrows on and glue me a mustache oh, no, on, you- and, and put a, a big ass eggplant in my pants. Yes, you, you can do that. Okay? Uh, yes, they will allow that because no, because I'm not black. Be- uh, the, no, 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 race. no, no. I'm gonna tell you like the this. They the LGBT community. They do certain. They do care to a certain extent if you are black, but long as you overly sexualized, they don't give a fuck. You walk around here with this bulging ass dildo on your leg, and you be out here in public. Nobody has the right to say nothing to you. But imagine a real man walking around with his dick bulging like that. Man, there's gonna be all type of police is calling on you. You're going to get the cops called on you. You can't walk around like that. No, 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 no. Oh, you a pervert. Why is your shit like this? You're a pervert. But as a as a transgender woman with a with a big ass dildo on you, you can walk around like that. As long as it's overly sexualized like this dude with these big ass bulging titties, fake prosthetic titties. Walking around all in the school, and the school is okay with it. They can't. They not gonna say nothing. They not gonna say nothing about it. That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, let's play it. Oh, sorry, Amanda, we don't have a lot of time. What you say? I'm just saying it's not a realistic look. Not all women have these titties like that. Is giving young men and women the image that you know a woman should look this way, right? When there's all types of different figures of a woman, and it's just I don't know, I don't even know what to say. The shit is disgusting and it's perverted to me, and it's weird that he feels comfortable and the school feels comfortable. To have him walking around looking like that with these booty shorts on, tight ass shirt over these big ass titties, stupid ugly wig. That's him right there, right? No, I think this is some lady that's outraged. But go ahead, please. Uh, I don't know, like, no, like, mm-hmm. 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 but just you know, I'm going to be honest here. I, I think it is you know morally reprehensible. Um, to have a teacher, male or female, but in this instance, you know, a, a male, uh, wearing abnormally large prosthetic breasts um, to students when they're meant to be learning. And the response from the school is to say, to defend their so called gender distracting. identity and expression. I mean, this is wrong and ridiculous, surely. Yep. How the fuck I, you yes, go um, I, big It's ass quite interesting thing. that not many. Now, didn't I tell you this was a fucking ugly man? I no, knew it was an ugly him. ass man. You said it's a woman. That's is that him? I don't know. Or he's like somebody that's de- defending this shit. People seem to have picked up on the underlying problem with this in that the 
um, the individual concerned oh, who is um, acting out That's this, this fantasy, for that is exactly what he is doing. He he yes, has I mean, become his own, the image of what he thinks a woman should be, and he's getting a um, he's getting a thrill out of it, a sexual thrill out of it, on some level. And there is an issue here for the students, obviously, who are being used as props within this fantasy. And there is absolute, there is no consent. There okay. is only coercion that they have. Okay. I, I agree with this dude. You know what I'm saying? I agree with him. What he's saying, though, you know what I'm saying? He's not, He look like he's a transgender, too, but he's not okay with this man doing. Right. He's not biased. He's not yeah. buying it, and you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a disrespect. And I I don't even think this dude is probably gay. He just – some he's mad at women right now. He's mad at women, and he's doing this shit. He's wow. doing this shit for attention. I promise you, this is for attention. And he's getting that attention that he wanted. I don't know, but I agree with dude or this – whoever this person is speaking right now that he's getting some type of sexual gratification out of it and he's right. using goddamn kids and that's it except what is what the teacher is doing um i mean this is when you you know when you analyze this properly in the context of what the teacher is actually doing this, this is this is the epitome of what the word problematic was invented for so you're sketching, um, I know this is in Canada, but, but do you see the West getting to a place where leaders will be able to say, actually, no, we're not going to tolerate this at all, and we're going to make it completely unacceptable, and people will lose their jobs if they continue doing what many consider abhorrent things, such as sexualizing a classroom? Mm. Um, well, it's, it's quite interesting that um, Tranada seems to have gone down this... Uh, this particular avenue of uh, encoding the support of gender identity. I just don't understand, though. You know what I'm saying? First of all, going to school is about, it's supposed to be about learning something, right? Right. Why is motherfuckers worried about how they dress and how they come into school? School should be professional. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it should be a a, 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 a a dress code for the teachers. A dress code. They sure maybe, got them kids, the students. Maybe, maybe it should be a dress code. Maybe the teachers should, the women, if you identify yourself as a woman, you should wear a dress. If you identify yourself as a man, you should wear a suit, a, tu a tux, preferably. To come to class, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, or or a tie, a shirt and a tie, with some slacks. As a man, some type of dress as a woman, and if you identify yourself as a man, you should you should have to wear the same thing that that man do. You identify yourself as a woman, you should have to have wear the same shit that the women have to wear. Why not do that? This shit just the same as the police. The police don't have no rules on what they do. They can do whatever. They can drink on the job. Nobody test them out. They, they can smoke and do all the type of drugs that they do on the job, and nobody test them out. The teachers at the school, they can do whatever the fuck they want because they're the teachers. Kids run around here and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, and, uh, and they little uh, – Clothes, they uh, the fuck is it called? <laughs> I'm my brain, my brain cloud. The uh, uniforms, kids run around here in their uniforms, and the teachers don't have to wear uniforms, huh? Teachers ain't got to wear you. She come like it's it's some teachers, you know what I'm saying? And you know they some of these female teachers come near dressing all sexy and shit. Who you trying to get? These are a bunch of kids. Who the fuck you trying to attract? Yeah. 
I think we lost cash. I don't know if she's going to come back. You know what I mean? Waiting on her to come back in again. You know? If not, I'm about to close this shop down. All right. Well, this was the Wake Day Game Up show. I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 50 to 100 subscribers, man. Hit that like and comment on the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure the bell notification is turned on so that you won't miss none of these banging videos. I got more, and I'm going to start giving you niggas some game. Uh, I might I might just come back on and give y'all some game, Dolo Bolo. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, man, we trying to hit this spike up, man. We trying to spike this shit to 50 to 100. If you fuck with this and you like this and you, you with it, man, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Share this, whatever you got to do. And you know what I mean? And if you sleep, we're going to wake your game up. Yee!